Hey guys, welcome back. Ninja Llama here once again with an unboxing video. This is the Nomad 883 Pro from Carbide 3D. There should be links to their website down below this video in the description. So uh, first let's just take a look at the packaging it came in. The box has a prominent company logo, some nice stickers on top, USA made, do not tumble, fragile, handle with care, high claim value. Probably helps the freight carrier be a little more careful with your shiny new machine. The box also has these nice plastic handle reinforcements that are really a big help when you have to move the heavy box around, so good on them for that. And I guess now that we've gone over this, let's just open this box up and see if we can't get a peek at what's inside. The box is nicely packed with paper to keep any of the contents from shifting. The machine has nice custom made foam packaging to prevent any damage, and there were also two smaller boxes underneath the paper. I did take issue in the fact that there were no first time setup instructions included of any kind. Opening the unit reveals a plastic door hinge that I worry will wear out quickly, but we'll find that out for ourselves. And the inside of the unit has some foam attached to the X and Y rails to keep anything from moving during transit. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and look through the two boxes we have. First up, this one. It is, uh, it is the power brick. We have just a standard 24 volt, 7.5 amp power brick. It's pretty cool. Um, do that. That's all that's in that box. So now I guess we can move on to the main thing, which is going to be cutters. Move all this out of the way. Let's go ahead and open this box up and pull out and see what we have. First off, we have some Ace. Uh, carpet tape, plastic, this is to hold stuff down to the door. We have the USB cable that's used to connect from right here on the machine over to your computer. We have a little block of wrench, wrench shape, I presume. Um, here's a little some spindle wrench, ER11A, so that's your little collar wrench. Pretty neat. Here is another double engine wrench, it looks like a 9 and a 12 millimeter. We have a just a little Allen wrench, which I presume is for these little five socket head cap screws, which I presume hold this MDF waste board to the table. So that way we don't run our table, we just you know run this when we're machining and you know we're a lot less sad than that. Um, here is a eighth inch square end mill. It's just a standard little end mill that comes with the machine. I did order a bunch of extras, so we'll take a look at that. Here is just a ball nose, an eighth inch ball nose. And here we have the eighth inch collet and the eighth inch collet nut. They come standard with the machine for that stuff. Um, here's also a little piece of aluminum. Well, it's got aluminum on both ends and some sort of foam in the middle. I'm not sure what this is called. I'd look it up. Uh, pretty neat though. Maybe we can do something cool with that. Um, next up is the stuff that I ordered myself. This is a, a wiggle edge finder. It's just a standard one like you use on any, you know, any machine. You, know, you sit there and you spin this and this will line up and then when you just barely bump the machine it will offset and you'll know where the edge of your part is. I don't actually have one so I figured I might as well pick one up. It's a micro Edge is what it says. I also got the extra collet set. This is the quarter inch collet nut and the quarter inch collet. So I can put quarter inch shank bits in the um, in the Nomad here. And this is the rest of the stuff. I guess we're out of this box. We can go ahead. These are all of the additional bits that I purchased. Um, there's a whole bunch here. Basically, I got every size that they had. Like here's, I have 063, I believe I have some 032. Let me just verify the sizes. All of these, I got 032, I have 032 ball and square, I have 063 ball and square, I have an eighth inch ball and square, an additional set is for these. And, um, and then I have some larger quarter inch ones that I bought to use with this collet. And then the last thing that's different than all those end mills is I ordered some of these little uh, V cutters and they're protective wax so they don't rust. 
but these you use with the V card to do some really cool like profiles on letters and signs and stuff. So that pretty much does it for what is included with the Nomad. Um, that's all that was in the box. I would like to point out that I would have also ordered this low profile vice to go with my Nomad, which would be super handy for all the projects that I'm doing, but unfortunately they were sold out at the time that I purchased this machine. And as far as I know, they're still sold out. So Carbide, if you're listening, I could really use a vice, uh, you know, to review and uh, also just use when I make stuff. So, you know, hopefully I'll get one of those soon and be able to, uh, you know, report back to you guys with all of my thoughts about it. I guess now that we've gone over all the accessories, let's go ahead and get ready to actually start up the machine for the first time. I've gone ahead and removed the shipping foam from the rails and here's where I really wish I'd have had instructions because I had to make sure I didn't miss anything else because uh, you know it's not listed what you actually have to remove thank goodness it was kind of obvious however I did notice as you can see right here my next complaint with the machine is that they'd use these little adhesive strips which I find don't stick very well Now that we're powered up, let's go ahead and install the collet. All you have to do is push it in there into the nut at an angle and it will be uh, retained in there. And then once that's done, all you have to do is uh, screw it onto the spindle. You have to hold the top so that way it doesn't spin, but overall fairly easy. Now that the collet's on, let's go ahead and install the included MDF waste board that came with the machine. This is to account for when you either purposefully or accidentally cut all the way through your part thickness. You don't actually damage the metal machine plate. And uh, these are just, you know, much less expensive to replace and a good idea to have at all times. Okay, so let's go ahead and install our first end mill. We're going to make sure the collet nut is loose, push the end mill into the collet and finger tighten the collet nut so that way it will hold it in place. After that, we can grab our two wrenches and snug up the collet nut so that way it will hold on to the end mill during the actual cutting operations. Once we have this done, I'm going to go ahead and click the automatic tool offset in the software. It will go over and touch the metal dowel pin that protrudes from the surface and automatically calculate your tool offsets so you don't have to do it yourself, which is a really nice feature of this machine. And that brings us to our final thoughts here at the end of the video. Uh, unfortunately, we're not actually going to get to cut anything in this video because I still have to learn a lot about the software and uh, get stuff set up. But in lieu of that, I have decided to provide you with a totally accurate representation of its function. Here's just a few final thoughts I have. It was very well packaged. It looks well built. Uh, I'll determine how uh, you know it functions, you know, as I use it, and hopefully I'll do a more in-depth review of the Nomad after I'm able to use it for a while and have a more complete idea of what I think its strengths and weaknesses are. Um, it has a nice assortment of accessories available on the website. If only I had a vice. <clears throat> but besides that, uh, I'll get one eventually so it's not a big deal uh, automatic offset for the tools is going to be handy I really really wish however my major gripe with this so far is um, it really needs instructions or first time setup sheet you know just like hey remove the foam uh, you know make sure none of the wires are in the in the lead screws you know plug it in to the wall then to the computer then start the software you know just give a basic you know flow chart of a uh, first time setup or if you're just doing it the new way which i really don't like but it's better than nothing you know have a little link like hey go to this website and here will the instructions will be but anyways i think overall this was a very well packaged and presented machine and i can't wait to start using it and uh, you know look forward to more videos most likely featuring this machine in the future and um, I hope you guys enjoyed so just please remember to like 
comment, subscribe, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.